now Eyewitness Sports. Tim Ruddy excelled at every level of football. He won a state championship with the Dunmore Bucks, was an All-American at Notre Dame, and enjoyed a Pro Bowl career with the Miami Dolphins. And recently, nearly two decades after his retirement from the game, Ruddy has received another well-deserved accolade. It's been just over 30 years since lineman Tim Ruddy helped lead Dunmore to its 1989 state football title. And then later in the spring of that school year, he won state gold in the shot put. I think that's what maybe had the farther distance today is that the competition was a lot better. Better. We pushed right down till the end. How's it feel being a state champ? Can't describe it. Combine those accomplishments with an All-American career at Notre Dame and a Pro Bowl career in the NFL, and it's no wonder Ruddy recently was named to the Pennsylvania Sports Hall of Fame Class of 2020. I actually put it up with the highest honors I've received. Uh, we look at the inductees, especially in football in Pennsylvania, from the high school level. You see Virginia Kansas, you see Coach Kirk from Berwick. You know, when you go up through college and through professional ranks. You're really in with the, the cream of the crop as far as uh, in Pennsylvania. Ruddy played for Coach Hensis and faced Coach Curry the year Dunmore won the state title. The Bucks fell to the Bulldogs. It was their only loss of the season, but Ruddy said it helped spur his team to win the gold. That stretch from that game to the state championship game was uh, you know, very, uh, remembered very fondly, and I remember the focus of the team and uh, how we were you know, preparing for those games and how you know, eventually, even though we had to step back in Berwick, we came out on top in the state championship game. This honor for Ruddy comes nearly two decades after retiring from football in 2003, following a 10-year career in the NFL with the Dolphins. He credits all his former coaches and teammates and says this about his own commitment to his craft. I tried to be um, a total player from the standpoint of the mental side of the game, you know, different aspects of the physical side of the game, strong, fast, quick knowledgeable about the, not only my position, but maybe you know, the offense as a whole, that sort of thing, from being the best athlete that I could be, as well as being of the best good teammates from the coaching staff and the team as a whole. Now that the high school basketball season has officially concluded, the Pennsylvania sports writers are starting to release their all-state teams. The girls of Class 4A and 3A were honored. The Lackawanna League was well represented. Mariah Murray and Sierra Toomey of Dunmore made the AAA first team and third team, respectively. Riverside's Kylie Lavelle was also named first team. And in Quad A, Rachel Rose and Cecilia Collins of Scranton Prep were named to the second and third teams. Other local girls named to the All-State teams, Lauren Charlton of Dallas and Emma Kosinski of Tamaqua made the 4A second team. Skylar Searfoss of Jim Thorpe made the third team. And in 3A, Summer McNulty of Loyal Sock was named to the second team, with Panther Valley's Erica Taboski making the third team. And here's a sign of the times, unfortunately.